Hello and welcome guys, this is Wonder from Simple Reviews. In this video, I want to talk about things to look out for while buying the right power bank. Power banks are very important these days because our phones or battery, our phones or tablets run out of battery very rapidly and it could be very helpful to carry an additional power source with us to keep our phones from dying. Now choosing the right power bank can get a little tiresome because of the totality of brands and kinds of power banks which are out there. So this video is a guide which will help you choose the right power bank. First things first, know why you're buying one. It's very important that you're clear about the purpose for which you're buying one. Do you need one while traveling or do you need one while commuting from place to place on a daily basis or do you need one as a backup or as a storage which you can use in your offices or homes. So it's important that you clear about that. So power banks are of different kinds. Some might be small and easily portable. Some might be a little heavier, but they have a lot of power backup. Some might have a lot of uh, USB charging ports. So basically, depending on your purpose, you will have to know which one is right for you. So let's start off by talking about the first category, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, suppose you travel a lot, maybe from city to city or country to country. So in this case, uh, you, you, the first thing you need to check is how many USB charging ports does the power bank have? The answer, as many as possible. So the first thing I look at any power bank is how many USB charging ports it has. So just think of it when you're on a holiday or when you're traveling. Uh, you usually have more than one device which needs charging like your mp3 players, kindles, ipads, ipods so and also your hotels hotels might not provide you with a lot of charging points so what you could do is connect your power bank to the charging point and connect all your devices to the power bank and charge all of them simultaneously so ideally look for at least three charging ports while buying a power bank two is all right but if it's less than two it's not worth it second thing is to check for the battery capacity so the, the so the power in the power banks is me measured in milliamp hours even the power in our, the even our phone batteries are measured in milliamp hours i showed this chart in my earlier videos which shows the general backup capacity of most popular phones by this we can tell that the larger the battery of the power bank the more the number of times and the more the number of devices we can charge in a single full charge of the power bank try to look for a power bank which is say around the 15000 milliamp hour mark these might be a little heavy but you can just carry it along with you in your luggage so it won't seem much. I've left the links to some of the power banks which are my suggestions in the description below so do check that out. Moving on to the second category, if you're looking for a power bank on a daily commute basis like on a bus or car ride then you won't be really needing too many USB ports, one or two would do at most because in these cases you're mostly just charging your phones. Here you don't need a lot of power backup as well, something around 6000 to 7000 milliamp hours would do. These would be light as well so you can easily carry them in your backpack or you can also carry them in your hand with your phone while charging them. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave the links to some of my suggestions below in the description so check it out. If you're looking something exclusive for your phones or something just to back up your phone at times of need you can go for this really tiny power bank which have about 3000 milliamp hours of battery. So this is just enough to charge your phones when they're dying. So you can consider these as well. These are very small and easily portable. They can quite comfortably fit in your pocket and they're also pretty cheap. So I'll leave the links to some of these in the, in the description so you can check that out as, out as well. Coming to the third categories, if you're looking for a power bank to use as a backup in your offices or in your, ho or in your homes, uh, the main thing here is to have as much as power backup as possible. Uh, at least 16,000, anything over 16,000 milliamp hours would be ideal. Also two USB ports would be good enough and if there's three that's even better. I have a couple of these uh, power banks which are lying around in the studio which I keep using every now and then. So it's very convenient. I can just charge, I don't have to put my phone, connect my phone to the charging point at one place. I can take it along, I can take my phone along with me and connect it to the power bank and it keeps charging. I can take it along with me around, about the studio. Uh, also I can use it while there's, when there's no electricity. So having one of these, at least one or two of these in your homes or in offices could be very helpful. I'll leave a link to a few of my suggestions in the description for this as well, so you can probably check that out. So besides these three categories, there are a few power banks which are universal. They can be used under any of the three categories. So these have about 10 to 12,000 milliamp hours of battery, so they are light. So they can be portable and also they have sufficient storage, so they can be used as a backup in your homes or offices. So uh, and they also have and these also have two or three USB ports, so you can charge multiple devices at once. 
So I'll leave the links to some of my suggestions for these in the, in the description as well. So check that out. So that was it, guys. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you enjoyed watching the video, give me a thumbs up. You can also tweet me your questions at Simple Reviews. Also subscribe to Simple Reviews to get notified about more simple tips. And I will see you guys next time.